He asked if I had any motherhood poems, how much of my invisible umbilical cord was still attached to my mother. I tell him we play tug of war often. I had rabbits for four years, must be what motherhood feels like, I thought, when you step outside yourself to do one for what cannot do for itself, constantly afraid the world will hunt them down and eat them whole, or that they'll fall from high edges, or that they'll get sick, really, really sick, always worrying whether or not they have enough. I published my first book, must be what motherhood feels like, I thought, book release parties be like baby showers, everyone's all congratulatory, you've got all these sleepless nights, people asking when you'll pop out a second one and when the hype dies down baby sits quietly on bookshelves waiting for siblings to sit with whenever I feel the tug I visit <laughs> have you ever called a cat the only time I ever tried to call a cat was when I was at a Broadway showing of the play cat <laughs> and even then, I thought I had the wrong number. Maybe the first step to ending cat calling is to stop calling women cats. Stop pronouncing stomach ache as heartburn. Stop putting the men's clothes over here and the women's clothes over there and expecting your rules not to get broken. Stop hoping. We've got so much to talk about because you were watching this kung fu flick yesterday and you always wanted to go to China and you've got that oriental rug in your living room. You don't know me. History books can lie just like rugs do. I do not wish to battle you. Just bend your mind out of the cookie cutter society baked you into. Who gave you the authority to, to define me? Same ones that colonize people places and things and claim discovery. Same ones who changed your job responsibilities but not your paycheck. Same ones who read your name off a resume and thought you were not what I had in mind. <laughs> Don't tell an English major not to mind what people call her. She will not be the adhesive to misnomers because once you let it stick they'll start thinking it's okay to call you a cat and a million other things that you are not and make you prove it. You are whoever the fuck you say you are, and if that don't fit inside a box, you were built for a bigger canvas. There will always be people who won't understand why you don't fit the standard. It's time to reform the norm and ignore the hurricane of hate that waits outside your bedroom window that will try to attach itself to you before your first cup of coffee. Just know that there is nothing wrong with being all that you can be and that there is an army of humanity just waiting to do the same thing. We all want to be comfortable in our own skin. We still think we're so different.